Yo, what is up guys, it is Samsung I am here bringing you a brand new video. Now in today's video I'm going to be showing you a little tutorial on how to make thumbnails using Photoshop. If it's, you know, gaming, music, whatever it is. So first off, you know, make your way to Photoshop. So Photoshop does actually cost money, you can use the free trial, but it does cost money sadly. So you can use it off one of your friends, or maybe, you know, you can borrow it. But, you know, you potentially need to buy it if you want to continue using it. So first off, you're going to go File and New. And now you want to create yourself a pretty much a new like, sort of piece of paper, a new sort of project. So pretty much it's 1280 by, well as you can see on screen here, 1280 by 720. So pretty much you want to set it to 1280 pixels, as done on this side of the screen here, and 720 height. There we go. Alright, so now you've got your piece of paper, you want to just head over to Google in a moment. So now you go to Google, now you want to open a new tab and you want to search whatever you want. So pretty much, for me, my background. So you want to find a main background concept, so mine's going to be Rainbow Six Siege HD. So here we go. I've searched it up, now you want to go to images. And now you want to just find one, so you want to find a nice clear image. Once you click on it, you want to wait for the loading bar to finish, right click it and go copy. Okay, there we go. So now you want to just right click it, go copy. You want to make sure it's the same size as this, or bigger, not smaller. And you want to just paste it in. So I'll show you what I did. Copy. Go back to Photoshop and Control V. So Control V to paste it in. There we go. Alright, so now we've done this, we need to add a bit of a bit of effects, you know, make it more, you know, stand out more. So ignore what I'm doing here. This is for later when I make another one, another thumbnail. So you're going to get the pen tool on the left here. So you're going to just click the pen tool. Now you're going to press Control plus to zoom in. So press Control plus to zoom in. And now you want to just draw around the circle. So make little points around the whole circle until you get to the end. So you just want to go around. So I'm going to go around this arm here, okay? So I'm just going to go under the hand, around the arm. You're going to go around the whole person or whatever you're doing, whatever object you're doing. I'll be back when that's done. Alright, so there we go. We're coming to an end. So as you can see, when you get to the end here, you want to just right click the point you started with and then press make selection. So I'll show you again here, but I'll just go make selection, okay? But I'll show you what I actually did. So now what you want to do is you want to make sure you're on the actual layer. And I'm going to go back, take a step back. You're going to right click, go make selection, and you're going to go to your feather radius and you want to set it to 1. And now once you do that, you want to press OK and then press Control X to cut it out of the image and Control V to paste it back in. Now you go to the normal selection tool and you can move it around. You're going to move it back to where you cut it out of and you can use the arrow keys actually to move it around. So here we go using the arrow keys. You move it up and down in that. So now you want to right click the layer, go to blending options and stroke. So right click the layer, go to blending options and stroke. Now once you're here, pretty much you can change your gradient, your color, your size. So me, I ideally stick with cut the size 6 and outside. So you can get outside, inside, center. I stick with outside and size 6. And now down the bottom here, you can see gradient. So you want to go to gradient and you can change it around to your theme color, rainbow color, whatever you want. But for now, I'm going to go to circle and stick with white. So you can see all the different colors. So I'm going to go back to white in a moment. And we can stick to white. So once you're done that, you just want to press OK and press OK. And now there we go. See how it stands out nicely? Now you want to go to text. So go to the text thing. And now you're going to type in your little text box. Now once you've done this, you can just type in your channel name or whatever you want to write. So me, I'm going to write in Rainbow Six Siege Montage. So I've got a font 60, something nice and small. And there we go. We'll go all capitals, Rainbow Six Siege Montage. So, or kill compilation. Yeah, actually that sounds better. So now from here, what you're going to do is select the text. And you can actually, you know, change the font. You can move it around. So you can change the font. You can change the color of it. So I'm going to go for a greenish color to make it stand out more. So, as you can see, that looks pretty good, but it doesn't actually stand out that well. So we're going to go to the text layer in the bottom right corner, right click it, go select the blending options. Now we're going to go down to color, outside, and set it to black. There we go. So that looks quite cool, looks, you know, looks nice, stands out. Sorry I'm going a bit fast if I am, you guys can slow the video down. So now what you're going to do here is I'm going to grab this icon here with the pen tool. So I'm going to go through and select this again. I'm just going to do this to give it more of a, you know, standing out effect. So you can actually see how nice it'll look. And I'm going to change the color of this. So here we go. Let's finish this up.
by the way you do end up using the pen tool a lot in this so now you're gonna come back make selection feather radius 1 and now from here you just want to do Control X to cut it out and you want to make sure you're on the right layer so see how you have multiple layers you're gonna click on the layer where you pulled out the shield here where I pulled out the shield and now you do Control V to paste so now you move it back and you want to right click the layer again and go blending options now from here what you want to do is put on stroke and see how it looks quite cool but we want to change it so we're going to go for a gradient so we're going to move down go gradient and we're going to leave it a rainbow color because I actually quite like that so you can scroll through me I'm going to stick to rainbow because like I said I do like the rainbow color and I've left it on size 6 so now you can move it around whatever you want but I'm just going to leave it there Alright, so it looks quite cool, but it's still pretty dull, so what we're going to do is head over to Google, and we're going to add another image in, so we're going to go to a new tab, and we're going to search up Jaeger. So Jaeger's just a character on Rainbow Six Siege, so need, no need to worry about what you're doing, it could be a person, it could be you even, with your facial expressions, whatever you want. You're going to go down to Images, and you want to pick one, so you want to pick one that's, you know, the right size, think it will be good for you, and not too big, and one that's HD, of course, so here we go, copy, Control V, and there we go. Now you press Control T, and then you can actually resize it. So if you hold, you press down Control T, you can resize it. And now I'm just going to go through with the pen tool and go select them again. I'll be back when I'm done. Alright, so now I'm coming to an end, what you want to do is use the pen tool to just drag it off the image and then go to your first selection and then do make selection. So here we go to the first point, make selection, feather, feather radius 1, press OK and then Control X and Control V and you want to just delete the background, which is the other layer, the old first original layer. So let's move it to the right, looks quite nice here. Now let's go blending options. As you can see, there's some little black lines around his head I don't quite like, so I'm going to just kind of block those out by adding a stroke like we did earlier. And now I'm going to go for maybe maybe a color black, because I think black looks quite nice for this. And you can change all the size, the inside, but me, I prefer center and outside for like the radius where I want it. So I'm going to do outside for now. And now, yeah, let's set it to 6, just normal, and let's press OK. So now what I want to do is I want to add a text. So I want to add text, you know, maybe coming out of his mouth, sort of. And let's just do like a pro. Now I can barely see that, so let's make that white. There we go. Now we want to just put a blending option again. So we're going to move it to his mouth, put a blending option, and just do black. It'll automatically go to black, because that was my last thing, black. There we go. Now, it looks alright, but let's go to Google and add a little something extra. So I'm going to add in a map. So, like, where you're going to be, where you've been, what you're doing, you know. For instance, I'm just going to add a cool looking map, like, you know, like, what am I a pro on? What is that Jaeger a pro on? So, we're going to go find a map. This one's quite a small size, 500 by 200 or whatever it is there, as you can see on the screen. It's actually quite a nice size, and it'll just fit right into the corner. Now what you want to do is you want to just press right click and go to blending options, and you want to go stroke again. We do use the stroke a lot. Me, I'm going to go for something that stands out, like, you know, this is pretty much a border, so you want it to stand out, so I'm going to go for a gradient, so, maybe a rainbow gradient, so here we go, rainbow gradient, and now I'm going to press OK and move it towards the center a little bit, so you can see the whole border, there we go, looks quite cool, but now I want an arrow, so we're going to go to shapes, we're going to go custom shape tool, and up the top you can change your shapes, me, I'm going to stick with the arrow, because that's what I want, so here we go, we'll go arrow, and yeah we'll go for the fat one and then now we're going to make an arrow so just like that you just drag across and make it and now it's like oh it's black I kind of want a red arrow yellow arrows so we're gonna just click on it and go to the bucket tool now when you go to the bucket tool it'll pop up with a notification thing you just accept that accept the alert and now you want to just grab a red color so set your primary color to red and then just color in the arrow make sure you're on, you're on the right layer on the arrow layer and there we go now you need to press control T and you can rotate it, so control T and use the rotate on the corners and there we go, I was a little fast there, I hope you guys caught up with that but you can slow the video down and we'll just add it, just not in the way, maybe down a bit yeah that looks fine, you can add a stroke to it, for me I'm not going to personally I prefer arrows without the stroke but if you were to add a stroke, black would be the best colour Alright, so that's it for this thumbnail. I hope you guys did like that thumbnail, but I've got another one, so we're going to do what I told you about earlier. But first off, you want to save it. So let's go save as, make sure you know the name, you remember it, and you just save it in a folder. It's recommended you make a folder. Me, I made a folder called YouTube. 
Now if you want to save it so you can put it on YouTube, you go File, Export, Export as PNG, and you want to just save it as that name. So if you export as PNG, that's where you get the actual image instead of the Photoshop document, and you want to just go Save. Alright, so we're going to go into the next tab here, because like I said, I was actually going to make a, another one. So, we're going to, sh I'm going to show you first though, before I make the second one. The second one is more serious, this is more for, if you want people to, I guess, notice it better, I guess, you know, just kind of get into it. But the first one was more of a, if you do want to do funny moments, I don't know, kill compilation, just some sort of joke. So first off, you want to head over to your YouTube, go to settings, go to view the, you know, view your advanced settings here, whatever it's called. And you want to head over to the top right. Now once you click this, all you need to do is wait for it to load. And then you just want to go to your YouTube videos. And then just pick the video that you want to put the thumbnail on. And now from here, we're just going to press these three dots and go change. And we're just going to change it to the one that I found earlier, so the one that I made earlier. So pretty much it's pretty simple, you know, if you have the right dimensions, like I said at the start, 1280 by 720, then that's the exact same right size for the thumbnail, and you'll have nothing to worry about. So there we go, fits in perfectly, looks nice. So now we're going to exit out of this, and like I said, we're going to start the second one. So for the second one, I'm going to make it more of a distorted sort of image, just kind of have an effect, like a tr look, sort of a trippy effect, you know. So we're going to go over to this new tab now, and now we're going to go find another image. So we're going to go to Rainbow Six Siege HD, I'm going to find a new image. So, yep, uh, let's see, like, what, what should I find? We'll just go for just another HD normal image, you know. So here we go, we'll go for uh, maybe something iconic. I will go for the same thing, why not? It'll make it easy on you guys. So there we go, we'll paste it in. And now from here, what you want to do is go back to Google and search up scan lines. So you're going to go back to Google and search up scan lines. So it's pretty much like a static effect that you can chuck on top. So now you want to find one that's not like, you know, compact. You want to find one that's spread out nicely, like this one here. This one's quite cool. You're going to right click it, go copy, and then you want to do control V. So you want to paste it into your Photoshop. There we go. Now you want to go down to the eye icon and make it invisible. Now we're going to forget about that layer, switch to the original layer, and now we're going to go to the top left, image, adjustments, and go black and white, and then just press OK. Now from here what we're going to do is duplicate the layer, so right click, duplicate layer, press OK, and then you're going to right click it again, and go to blending options again. Now from here you just want to turn off R, so it's RGB for red, green, blue, you just want to turn off the red, so the first one, press OK. And now you can actually move that layer around to create a sort of trippy effect like this. So we're going to move it to the left a little bit. We don't want it too trippy, just slightly, like that. And now, once we've done this, you want to go to your scan lines, make it viewable, and go to opacity, fill opacity, turn it maybe 70%, and go to opacity and turn it to about 20%. So you can just tweak these until you think it's like a nice amount where you can still see what you want, but it's not too distorted, you know, it looks quite nice still. And then after doing this, what we're going to do is we're going to go for a text. So we're going to put text down, press delete, go to white, because we want it to stand out. And I'm going to just going to do space siege montage. So I'm going to do a space between each letter, because I think it has a nice effect. There we go. But the font's a bit off, so, you know, let me just change the font. So there's lots of fonts here. There's, I think there's about 40 or 50 that you can actually use on Photoshop that are quite cool. But you can actually add your own onto there. So we're going to go for something skinny like this. This looks quite nice. And now we're going to just space it out. So we're going to make it bigger. So you can change the font of it. But pretty much what I'm going to do is I'm going to move it to the left. So move everything to the left here. And I'm going to make this text down here. So by me. I might just do my name actually. No by. So I'll just put my name. And now from here you can change it. So you can change the font. I'm going to make it a little lower. Maybe like 48 or something. Just so it doesn't you know stand out too much compared to the siege montage. Now let's move it up, it looks quite nice. Now let's add another text box. Now in the bottom corner, I want to add the sort of music I'm going to play in the video. So NCS, which is non-copyrighted music. And now I'm going to select that and make it a different font. Something bulky. So let's get something bulky, maybe like this, no, this, there we go. And now you want to just put the font a little bigger and you want to move it into the corner. And there we go, there's our two thumbnails. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. You just do the same thing again, you just want to save it, and then you want to export it. So, I'll show you export again for you, those who are confused. File, export, export as PNG, and same thing. 
So I hope you guys did enjoy this video. It was actually took like quite a while to make. But um, yeah, I hope you guys did learn something because this is actually a good skill to have, making thumbnails, editing, stuff like that. So I hope you guys did enjoy, like I said many times already, don't forget to subscribe, like and leave a comment if you want more tutorials like this. And I'll catch you guys later. Set my heart afire.